Here we have a 2007 on a 56 registration Scania K340 EB Catano Levante 49C PSVR compliant executive coach. Vehicle is currently operated by Atlantic Travel in Bolton. Obviously, with the impending uh, Euro 6 clean air zone coming to Greater Manchester, a lot of this. Uh, all the stuff in the fleet needs to be moving on. A Levante is a Levante at the end of the day. We all know what they look like. We all know the good and bad points. This one on the offside, I can't find anything really to worry about. We've got power operated lockers, alloy wheels fitted. That's the only bit of a scuff there. At the business end, Euro 4 Scania engine. That means no ad blue. That's driven through a ZF fully automatic gearbox. Back corners don't give me any concern. There's a few I find with some of these older vehicles. There tends to be a few sort of make do and mend repairs that could have been done far better, like you know that bit of tape there. Just lets it down. We've got a fairly major scrape along the near side starts or finishes whichever way you want to look at it there runs right through the wheel arch and into the locker obviously there's a bit of a repair there good thing about the Levante is because they've all always had rear toilets there's no interruption in the luggage space and you know I see this vehicle because it's a little bit tight inside as an ideal project to make a PSVR compliant 70 seater you know, there's a little bit of body damage to take care of. Being PSVAR, we've got the LED destination displays to front, side and rear. We've got the Magic Floor step mounted wheelchair lift in there. Again, little bit of odd knocks to the front door. You know, your, your, your top mirror's missing. It's all bitty and bobby, but it just makes the vehicle look tired. Inside we've got 49 Fainzer Gala reclining seats with three point belts, centre armrest. These red belts here, NASA Express had these and these are all age seat belts. They had, when you got a Levante you got a number of um, booster seats. So obviously the booster seats and the all age seat belts were for like when toddlers were travelling. Seats are full leather, exactly what you find in 99% of Levantes. But for me, you know, starting to look tired. I think this is a great platform for a 70-seater. Rear floor mounted toilet. So you get a good converter like, say, Ashalls. They take that. When you take that out, there's very little behind it. But they'd make it look as though there'd never been a toilet there in the first place. That's one thing that... Uh, Jimmy and his teams are very, team are very good at. Other other bits like this, you know, like we've got tape holding parts of the racks up. I'm trying my hardest not to pull it apart because I see potential, but it needs to be priced right. And once I've had the conversation with the guys here, I'm hoping it will be. Light covers missing. You know, it's it, for me. It's all presentation, but. You know, floors seems to be in good order. There's, it's not a big job to, to make it a 70. That's where I'd be with this. You've got the magic the magic seat, um, which gives you one wheelchair space. You've got a couple of options with that. I mean, I've seen 70 seaters. In fact, I think I've currently got one advertised where what they've done, they've kept the magic seat and they've put some bigger prime seats in the front because remember, your Levante is 12.6 metres long, so you have a little bit more to play with, but you can work to coif measurements because it's got a rear emergency exit, so it's built to coif. So they've put, like, double seats, maybe three rows of doubles at the front, normal size seats, a kind of adult seats. They've kept the magic seat, and then they've sort of got to about here and gone three and two, and it works. Looks a little bit odd when you first look at it, but for me, keeping that magic seat, you've got factory fitted wheelchair seat there. So if there's ever any issues, God forbid, touch wood and everything else, um, that was built at the factory. 
that's where the comeback is. You're wired for DVD with one monitor. You're also wired for CCTV. You know, dash is, dash is in fairly good order. And over displays in here. You know, the other good thing about making this a 70-seat school bus, rather than a Volvo with an eye shift, it's a Scania with a push-button automatic. There's nothing easier to drive. Mileage I'm going to question, because I've yet, I'll, I've never come across a Levante half this age with 650,000 kilometres. So, normally on a Storm Ridge tachograph unit, you, it shows the millions. So whether this has been replaced and it's not had the correct mileage calibrated, I don't know. But I'm fairly confident that's not accurate mileage. We need to look at some service records. Driver's seat definitely needs sorting out. As I said, you know, this it's not something that me, if I was still operating, would particularly buy and think I can fling that straight out. I'd be buying this and thinking, do you know what? I can do something with it. The platform's there, it ticks the PSVAR box, it's price right. I'll make a 70 seater out of it. That's where I would be with this vehicle. But it's entirely up to you. I've been as honest as I can, as I always am with my uh, walk around videos. You decide what you're going to do. But to recap, it is a 2007 on a 56 registration. Scania K340 EB, Catano Levante, 48 seat, sorry, 49 seat, PSVR compliant executive coach.